So I thought it might be fun to answer some questions from readers of the Brilliance Trilogy, see what you guys wanted to know. I posted on Facebook, my publishers went through, and we've got a handful of questions that I'm gonna answer now. Ralph Davis would like to know, if you could choose, what would your brilliant ability be? It's kind of easy, actually. I put a lot of thought into this one. Um, Shannon, who can shift through crowds and be invisible, I hate waiting in line. Adam Cox asks, what do you think is the most dangerous brilliant ability and why? That was fun. Part of the joy in writing these books was that not only did I get to think of what the brilliant abilities might be, but I got to try and imagine what the world looked like to the people who had them. In A Better World, the second book in the trilogy, I introduced a character named Soren Johansson, who is a brilliant, who you'd really have to say is cursed with his gift. He experiences time differently than the rest of us. He can't control it, he can't do anything about it, but a second to us feels like 11 seconds to him. Makes him unbelievably dangerous because he's got 11 seconds to counter whatever you're gonna do. Uh, but it also means he can't watch a movie, have a conversation, or really be a human being. Gerard Greer asked, Cooper has passed his brilliant ability to his daughter. Does he feel that's a positive or a negative? It's kind of complicated. Um, I think overall he's positive about it. She's this little girl and he's madly in love with her and completely proud of her, but the world is not the friendliest place for brilliance right now. Everything he's done though in all three books is for his kids, so I think overall Cooper's glad that she is who she is. Julie Ocean asks, where in the world did you come up with that hand-splitting knife, knife attack? <clears throat> um, well, Julie, that one was a gift from my brother, Matt, who has a terrible phobia of hand trauma. Uh, so I like to just smash the hell out of hands any chance I can in my books. Just a little fraternal love. <laughs> Jeremy Baker says, what's your favorite beer and sandwich? I make the world's best BLT. It's like an hour long process. I do the bacon and then I glaze it with uh, miso and maple syrup. I smoke the tomatoes, it's on sourdough. You need a serious IPA to stand up against that. I'm a big fan of the stone. Finally, Stephanie Taylor Bledsoe asked, how did you feel when you finished the trilogy? Complicated. Um, I'd worked on this for five years. It's 300,000 words and that's just the ones I kept. So it was sort of like these were real friends to me. These were people I'd spent a lot of time with. Um, at the same time, I, I got to take them through the whole epic and bring them home. And uh, I felt like I, I gave them what they needed. So overall, I was really happy with the way it landed, but I'm gonna miss being Cooper. I'd like to thank everybody who posted a question. It was so much more fun to do it this way. Um, as a little thank you, we're gonna send an advanced copy of Written in Fire, the finale of the Brilliance Trilogy, to everybody whose question I read. Thanks again, and thank you all for reading. Uh, that means the world.